Okay, hi everybody. So this is Isha and Isha is in our current um, Grammy grade 12 program. Um, and Isha has, she's going to business, first of all, um, but she has applied to how many different schools, Isha? I don't know the number, but I think like eight or nine. Eight or nine. So eight or nine different schools and she has been accepted into every business program along with being offered <laughs> roughly $30,000 in scholarships across all these different yeah. programs that she's applied to. Um, and I think the biggest thing to say for those of you that aren't familiar with the process of applying to a business program, um, it's very intensive because not only are you like, it's not only is it based on your grades, you have a supplementary application for basically every single school. Um, so you're actually essentially writing essays to get into every program. So it's a very intense process and um, it's not very common that somebody applies to every single school for business and gets accepted into every single program that they apply to along with $30,000 in scholarship <laughs> offers and, and you're still going through that process of applying yeah. to scholarships. Like there's still a lot of time left. So that's yeah. Isha. That's who Isha is. Um, <laughs> she's a pretty amazing student and um, a very motivated student, which we'll yeah. really talk more about. Um, yeah. But I guess my first question is, where were you at with the scholarship process prior to um, Grammy? Because when did you come into the program? It was like... I think it was like October, November of... Yeah, 20. like end of October maybe, right? Yeah, it was like I just turned 17, so yeah, it was around then. Yeah, okay, so end of October. And like, where were you at, like in terms of like how you were feeling, in terms of like what, yeah. the, like what, how much you knew, like where were you at with the process um, before that? So maybe like in September, for example. Yeah. Um, so when we entered grade 12, our uh, counselor just gave us like a huge like package of like scholarships and all of us really didn't know what, like I also didn't know what to do with them because, you know, we were confused about like how many we should apply to, how should we apply for them, like do, like are we the right candidate because we didn't want to waste our time mm -hmm. and then with that like we also, I didn't also know about like the university scholarships or like if you have amazing grades, you can get them because we were really like kept in the dark because what all we really knew about was like the school scholarships. We didn't know about like all of these other scholarships like you guys found me and like I applied to mm -hmm. as well as the university ones. So like September, October, like we started getting into the school year and like slowly you kind of forget about it. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't until like the day before a deadline, the counselors were like, please get this all in. And we'd be like, what? You know, like we... Yeah. So we didn't have like any structure, at least at my school. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm sure it's the same in a lot of other schools. But when I finally came in, like you guys have that spreadsheet for me that has like a 30 scholarship. I was like, now we're talking. Like <laughs> now I have like all of these other things <laughs> to go into. And so, yeah, like that structure, that organization, just knowing that like you guys pick these scholarships that knowing I would like do well in it or like I would have a good chance really helped because like these scholarships like they had they were like really weird ones they gave us right like they were a program for like you know a type a student they didn't have any other like other option right so, right okay that's right that <laughs> and what about what about the university application process like where were you at with yeah. that because that's very important to you like you had yeah. a, you had a goal in yeah. that you were like ubc that's where I'm going. You still yeah. applied to every school. You got accepted to every school. Yeah. You had a goal in mind. So like, where were you? How were you feeling about that? Where were you yeah. at with that process? So I knew from like grade nine, grade 10, I wanted to go to UBC. And so I knew like the steps, like you have to like fill out an application. You have to do an essay for solder. You have to do a video interview. Um, but I didn't know actually how scary that was <laughs> until I got into grade 12. And I remember like in October, I, I finally made like my account for UBC. I logged in and like, I went to like to see the supplementary application mm -hmm. and I was like, whoa, like, <laughs> I don't know what's important to me. I don't know. Like, um, like all these other things, like, I don't know, like school spirit and all this. And I was like freaking out. Cause I was like, because over the last like three, four years, I was building up like my resume. I was working, I was volunteering, I was doing all these things. And I was like, did I do the wrong things? Like, <laughs> that I don't know how to apply. And then you would go ask your, like for me, we would go ask our teachers. 
And they'd be like, well, we can't write it for you. You have to like do it yourself. Mm -hmm. And obviously I would write it myself because Mm -hmm. uh, I have the capabilities, but (laughs) I just needed like the guiding of like, what do they want? Because I have like the extra trickers. I have all those hours. I just need to like express it. And so when I finally came into Grant Me, you guys not only taught me like how to express my writing in a way that the admissions officers would like love it, but you also taught me like that like, my experiences are actually worth something while I was writing it. Cause I was like, Oh, I actually did learn a lot. And like, you guys forced me to reflect. Otherwise, like remember my first draft, it was just really much like I did this yeah. and I did that. And it was like 30 hours and it was great. Yeah. And then it was submit, and I was like, Oh, that's great. And I came up with like 90 million edits and I was like, Oh, okay. Yeah. Now you know what to do with it. Yeah, totally. And I think you, you hit it like spot on. Cause I think that's the struggle that like a lot of students have is like, they have, they have the initiatives, like they have yeah. the impact and they have the involvement and it's like so incredible. Like even with you, it's like so incredible yeah. that you've done, but then it's like, how do you really articulate that in, in an essay in a way that's going to differentiate you from other applicants? And a huge part of it, which you just said is self-reflection, which a lot of students don't yeah you haven't practiced that skill because it's not like something that you traditionally do in like an yeah. English 11 or English 12 class, right? It's like yeah, we a don't. lot of self-reflection and you're right. Cause like when you first did it, you were like, yes, I, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. And it was like, well, <laughs> like what was the impact that you had on yeah. others? Right. And like, you know, following like an actual structure, like what was the situation, task, action, yeah. what Still actions did you take yeah. resolve? You've heard me say it a million times, yeah. right? And It'd so be like going, in bold on the top. Yeah, seriously, it literally. Everyone's like, if there's one thing I'm taking away, it's that. Um, but yeah. but it's true because it's like that helps you to like really, you know, reflect on like what was the impact that you had on others and like what did you learn from that experience, which is what like admissions teams, scholarship teams, yeah. that's what they want to know is like what did you, what did you do to get there, but like what did you actually learn through the process and how did that impact everyone around you right so yeah huge you're right and the change that like the change that you made from your first application yeah. to the end was like a big yeah. it, it's a huge difference so it's pretty crazy and I, and I was able to replicate that also like in my video interviews because I had that structure already mm. so like when it was time for the daunted like video interview I wasn't as stressed because I knew like I had to go through the structure mm. and that was it you know yeah totally yeah yeah and it is you're right it is the same structure because you can't predict what question they're going to ask you but what you can predict is like you know having having two or three examples that you know no matter what question they give you you can you can use a structure to create that as as a really strong answer to any question right and so it's it's very true and there's a lot of overlap between like the self-reflection in an essay with this the same self-reflection that you do in an interview so it's it's yeah definitely Um, okay. And you've kind of, so you've kind of touched on this, but, um, like, how did you get, so like, you're here now, like you've gone into yeah. every school, right? You got into UBC, which you were like gunning for right from the beginning. You got yeah. $30,000 in scholarships. You're still going through that process. And it's like, yeah. I want to know, like, what does it take to get there? Like, what did you, you know, what, what did that look like through the, out the year? Like what type of commitment, um, yeah. you know, and, and what did that really like look like for you? Yeah. So right off the bat, like, I knew, like, just knowing about the program from, like, my friend Taylor, Mm -hmm. that you have to do a lot of work yourself. It's not like you guys do it for us or you guys just write it all out and we just have to copy and paste. It's absolutely not like that. And anyone who has that idea needs to, like, not think that. Yeah. Um, (laughs) I knew, like, as soon as I wrote my, like, first edit and, like, I sent it for revisions and I came back with all these edits I actually took the time to understand why you guys were editing it like why what these edits actually meant Mm. and you guys actually gave me reasons it's like well like what was the impact here give us numbers here like give us like um whatever here like I remember like with Vancouver Teens Lives you're like oh how many people did you reach or like what did you do here with the website Mm -hmm. and I was like oh like I need to talk more in depth I need to talk in more detail Like, I can't just generalize my feelings or my reflections or anything like that. I actually have to, like, dig down deep, which took a lot of time because you actually have to think about the impact it did because you you do all these things, but 
in the process you're not actually thinking about it Mm -hmm. so that took a lot of time as well as like I carved out time like every week to make sure I had time for my applications yeah that like I went on yeah I went on the coursework I did it I like wrote down questions I had or I made sure I paid attention and then I went back to my applications went through the revisions resubmitted it maybe 10 times in like (laughs) two weeks um but kept going kept checking in with you kept emailing um while making sure like my schoolwork was up to date like emailed you guys for updates or anything and then also making sure that like the scholarships that were going along I also were kind of keeping up with even though university applications were like my major like focus yeah but it takes a lot of like determination and motivation it also takes a lot of like energy because Mm -hmm. people think like oh I have the energy to do like four sports to do this and this and do the program and go to school and get good grades but they don't realize that a lot of people don't realize like um you think you might have it easy in this program which you do in the sense you get the structure and the organization but also it's a lot of energy and time commitment because you don't want to waste like anyone's time you want to make sure like everyone's getting like the best result mm-hmm. and in the beginning like I was scared I'm like no like I don't want to like email them a million times but then at the end you know yeah. <laughs> a million times with all these edits because it's like you want to make sure you're doing the best possible thing and yeah. it sticks with you at the end with like re- resume building or anything like that yeah totally that makes sense and I think one big point is like one like actually there's two so like the yeah. first thing is like this idea of like taking ownership and like yeah. and that's like a an indirect like like the university admissions and scholarships are like I always say this they're like the byproduct of like the type of student you're becoming right and the type yeah. of student you're becoming is the type of student who takes full ownership of their own results and their own work the type of student who can organize themselves like you said and put time aside to actually like commit to going through the process the type of student who's in like constant communication with us and updating us on what's happening because if you don't communicate with us we can't we don't know what's going on right so it's actually help us like it works yeah exactly how can we exactly and so for you it was like anytime there was like uh um, you know, an edit that you didn't understand, or there was some sort of issue, or even anytime you're getting accepted to all these schools and getting offers yeah. for scholarships, like you email us and you let us know, and then we yeah. know, we know how we can best support you from that, right? And so yeah. I think that's like awesome because that really gives students like Isha is a type of student that like literally takes full ownership of what she wants. She had a goal in mind right from the beginning, and you went <laughs> after it. You went after it, and you worked very, very hard to get there (laughs) very hard you really did and so and that's what happens like results get produced and that's something that now you know that's going to show up for you when you get into university and you're in classes you're going to take that same work ethic with you that you already have and same thing with jobs with you know internships that you're doing like you're just that type of person and that's (laughs) the exact type of person that has success right so it Yeah. yeah everything that you that you said I think is really good for um grade 10 grade 11 and grade 12 students to really understand because like that's what it takes and that's actually what it looks like so I think that's awesome um okay and then last question which you've already touched on multiple times but um like how has the program helped you like what's been the most beneficial aspect of the program in supporting you with with your journey so far yeah literally it was not only like the organization communication like that aspect I already talked about but it's also like giving me the confidence knowing that like what I'm submitting is actually like worth the admissions officer like reading and uh, like appreciating like at the beginning like when I sent my first like revision I thought like oh it's good and like oh like I don't know how much they'll be able to help me like it I thought with my like my initiatives or whatever I did was pretty ordinary and then I came you guys came back with like all these suggestions and ideas and I was like oh wow like I actually did some like worthwhile things like things that have impact Mm -hmm. and like Madison and her team actually like went like actually thought about it and they were like oh like this is so cool why don't you expand on it here or like things like just like I was on like Ivy Council and I didn't think that was a big deal but then they were like why don't you like expand about like school leadership and like what events did you do how did that impact like the the school population like how did it impact you personally leading it I didn't think it was a big deal because I was like oh IB council we go every lunch like it's not a big deal but then I'm like oh like 
it's actually pretty impactful. And then giving me like the knowledge of like what universities are looking for. And like, so I can like gear my head towards that. Cause there are a lot of times where I wanted to write like this one thing, but then I'm like, is this going to help me in the end? Or is this going to like, is this sentence worth it? Or like the word count worth it for this? Mm. And then you guys were like, you got to reflect, not <laughs> like keep going like this. And then, yeah, like the star structure really helped. Like that was the main takeaway. I was like, I got to do star. I got to do star. <sighs> like in everything, I was like, star, star, star. Yeah. And then, yeah. And just like the organization, the communication. And like you guys, you also updating me. Like when I was going crazy about not hearing back from UBC. <laughs> you kept that was something else. She was going, she was going pretty crazy. <laughs> I literally copied and pasted my status. And I was like, what does this mean? <laughs> and you're like I don't know I'm not in the system but I'm like what do you think it means what do you let me just interpret this for you like yeah and I was like what else do you know do you know anyone else who've gotten in but yeah you guys have like the inside like scoop sometimes and I was like I gotta keep emailing her I gotta keep emailing her and everyone's like why are you always on your phone I'm like oh, I'm just emailing, like, my university counselor. You know, no big deal. Just yeah. asking her <laughs> if anyone's gone into UBC yet. And they're like, you're so weird. I'm like, well, I gotta, like, keep up to date. Yeah, yeah. And, totally. like, you guys also, like, a lot of people think, like, oh, you're emailing her? That must be really annoying. I'm like, I bet it is, but, like, they don't really care. So, like, guys, if you're in the program, just keep emailing her, like, if you have any questions. And the yeah. support team, like, they will literally reply to you as soon as they can. Mm. And like, you literally replied to me after like an hour. And I was like, oh, thank the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. It's, email, and yeah. email, is import, email is important. And like, again, like that communication is important, right? Because if we don't know it's what's going really on, important. We, can't help, like, we can't help you. But if we know what's going on and we literally do have somebody, you know, monitoring the email yeah. all day because like, that's the commitment that we're out to make is like making sure that whatever it is, even if it's not related directly to like university applications or scholarship applications, like how can we like, how can we help? Right. And by you communicating with us, yeah, it makes it really easy for us. Cause we're like, okay, yeah. this is her situation right now. And like, here's how we can help. Or like, here's how we can provide some input on like what's happening. So I think yeah. it's so, so important. Um, yeah. I remember there were times where I would like email like, how competitive am I? <laughs> like, yeah. I was so you would be surprised how many how many times we get that question from students though. Like, am I competitive? And I, I love what you said about like the program is actually designed to build confidence. It's not yeah. about the result. The result is important, but it's yeah. actually designed to build confidence in students. So a student like you can actually look at your what you've done, which is amazing, and say, like, hey, I did that. And take the time to reflect on it and say this is the impact and this does make me a strong applicant into like the top business schools in Canada or this does make me a strong yeah. applicant for scholarships right like yeah it, but it really takes that like level of yeah. self-reflection in order to like understand like you should be confident in the things that you've done and I think that's like yeah. a big part of the program because we do have so many students that are just incredible but they don't even realize it themselves they're like they don't yeah. realize like you know that that they can get into any school or that they can you know apply and win scholarships like it's possible yeah. right and so i think like you said like yeah, the confidence definitely. is a really big part of the of the program for sure yeah like when i was waiting for ubc i was like i kept stressing but then i would just go on the google doc we had for my ubc person profile i just kept rereading it and i'm like i'm pretty good like i shouldn't be this stressed and like another thing, like when you guys are waiting to hear back, like Madison will literally calm you down and let you know like what's happening. <laughs> so that made me feel a lot better, like that confidence, because you were like, you're confident. They're just taking a long time. Like it's not your fault, you know, like you've done everything you can. And they make sure that you send your best product. Like they wouldn't let you just send anything or like you wouldn't want to send anything either. No, I wouldn't because yeah. we, we can't have that. We can't have somebody come through that, yeah. you know, if you submit an application to us and we see commitment from your side and you're a hundred percent invested in the outcome, like we are a hundred percent invested. In yeah, the exactly. To a fault for me, to be honest, because I get 
like if I'm being totally honest, like I want this just as bad as you do. Yeah. Like I know you do. How can we like make sure that 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 happens? And it is like, yeah, like you said, like I I want it in the same way. I honestly though with you, like that's why we worked so hard on the application because I, I needed to know that when we submitted it, like it is how it should have been. Like we wouldn't make a single change to that application if we look there was nothing we would have changed yeah if you look at it 15 more times like there's nothing like that is it that is the one and like that's the level that it should be because that's the commitment that you made and it's different if a student comes in and they kind of like you know if you're half committed that doesn't work it's not workable for anything but for but for you you said this is my goal i'm fully committed to this like you said you're like actually thinking critically about you know the editing mm-hmm. and the support and like asking questions and for us that's like a, a like a clear indication of she wants this more than anything and that means we yeah. want more than anything so how do we make yeah. sure that this happens and when you submitted it I knew already I was like she's gonna get in it's just a matter of time <laughs> but it's gonna happen yeah. and, and then look what happened it was just like then you get into every single other school yeah and get well, all a whole bunch of scholarships with it you keep emailing me <laughs> like I got into this school. I got this scholarship. I got into this school. I got this. And like, it's just, it's crazy because when you're committed to one thing, all of a sudden 10 other opportunities become available. Yeah, come up. And I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. It was crazy, actually. Because I was like, because after I submitted UBC, like I wasn't expecting any other like, like result until like later. Mm. And I was like, oh, like, UBC, 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 and then I kind of forgot I applied to these other schools. You have <laughs> I just, Yeah, I kept, like, I was, like, head straight, like, with UBC, and then I finally got, like, I got emails, and I was, like, oh, nice, like, yeah. I got in. Like eight different I remember emails. I got into, like, Carleton, like, in, in history, and I was, like, oh, other schools want me, you know, and then I emailed you, and I emailed, like, everyone else, and I was, like, huh, like nice like kind of like acknowledgement and like you kept like putting my hopes up you're like oh wow good job good job and I was like oh it's amazing it's not yeah and you're like no you're amazing and I was like oh thanks (laughs) (laughs) um yeah I think yeah I think you said it it's like if you have the commitment like that's what happens and it's like you have your goal set somewhere but then all these other opportunities unfold and like like I said that work ethic just carries for and that confidence just is going to be carried forward like through everything that you do which I think is like so powerful Mm -hmm. because that's going to show up everywhere it's going to show up in school it's going to show up in you know your community work it's going to show up in your career and that's like so powerful so it's just like it's honestly amazing um okay I think that's I think that's actually one more question that I have so and I should have done this at the beginning what was your decision like to join the program? Because like, obviously from our end, we know yeah. it's an investment and it takes something for a yeah. family to decide like, we're going to do this. Yeah. And so walk us through like what that process was like. And I think I actually brought you into the program, didn't I? Was it me? Yeah. Yeah. It was your call. Right. It's my mom. So walk us through what that was like, like to make that decision. Cause we get, it's not always an easy decision. Maybe it was for you, but we get yeah and maybe it wasn't right and we get that and so walk us through like that process to make that decision yeah so like after the initial phone call my mom was like I really like her she's really nice (laughs) (laughs) oh that's good (laughs) and she's like oh like and then my mom was just asking me because my friend Taylor was in the program Mm. and she Smith, and she was really successful with the program Mm. so my mom was just asking me about Taylor and so I texted Taylor and I was like so like what's the scoop give me the inside scoop (laughs) And she's like, Madison will literally change your life. Oh. And like coming from Taylor, that takes a lot because Taylor's not like a dramatic person. And I was like, yeah, like Taylor's really level headed. So I knew that like it was like a big thing coming from her. Mm. And then like I literally like went on your website like a million times, like look, look through like all like the, the success stories. Mm. I want to be that person like with the quotes and saying like I got a gajillion dollars from like UBC or something like yeah. be on the website and so when we talked to like my dad about it and we like had like a family discussion my dad's like it is an investment for us but like in the long run like these like four or five months of working hard with them and like doing all this stuff with them like having that commitment that motivation is going to pay off for like the next like four years if you think about it He's like, what, do you want to risk like not getting in or do you want to risk like 
not knowing how to do it or do you want to risk like not getting a spot even or not even joining the program um because you know undergrad and grad is really important mm. I was like yeah so he's like it's like he's like if they offer you a spot you accept it and mm. I was like thanks and then he's like yeah and then my mom was like also like really excited and I also was like immediately like in the phone call I was like I'm like I really hope she likes me like I really want to get in and like I remember like that thing you have to fill out for the phone call yeah I was really tired when I did that so I was just like yeah $500 oh why not and then you're like you're and then when you're like in the phone call I remember you're like you're more than capable of winning $500 and I was like oh thanks like oh my gosh she likes me and then (laughs) you like emailed me later and you're like you have a spot and I was like yes like yeah Right away, I was like, yes, please, thank you so much. And then I started, like, right away. I think it was, like, that weekend I sent you my UBC draft. Yeah. And that was like, the first revision. That's, we, there we were. We were going. Yeah, so it was, um, it was not a hard decision at all. Right, yeah, <laughs> it yeah. It was just hard sometimes to, like, keep up because I was like, I don't want to make them feel bad, like, you know. Then I'm like, they're not my teachers. They're literally there for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys are there to support me. I'm not, like, you guys are not grading my work, per se, but, like, no. at the same time you have that, you know, as a student, you have that in your mind thinking that you want to make sure like whatever you send back, like my goal was like every single time I send it back, there should be less than like this many revisions. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, at the beginning I had like 90 revisions and I'm like, okay, like when I, when it comes back, I wanted to have like 70 revisions instead was of it 90. actually 90? I think so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was a, it was like, it's a long okay. application. So that makes sense. But yeah. Uh, it, okay. it made sense and then slowly slowly it went down until there was like one revision left and it was just like oh like add a comma and yeah. then I'm like <laughs> okay I can do the like I can do that <laughs> yeah it was like from 90 to like zero I was like oh over the course of like two months yeah it was a big it, it was yeah yeah it's a really big commitment and something that you like I said you set out that's the goal I love what you just said about you know, your family looking at it as like a five year investment because yeah. we see that on phone calls all the time with students. We say, look, if you're gonna and like you said, you need to you have to be a certain type of student. So we don't just bring any student into the program. Yeah. We're looking for students that have good grades, that are involved in their schools, involved in their communities. Yeah. Most importantly, the reason for those phone calls is are you motivated? Because it's not yeah. like you said, it's not we don't do all the work for you. So are you motivated to go through this process? If you are, you are going to have success. We know that, right? Mm -hmm. But are you motivated? And you were motivated right off the bat. And I love what you just said about it being a five-year investment because the process of applying to universities happens in grade 12, but like the skill set that you learn, even for scholarship applications, like you're going to be, and I have like insider information on that as well because I went through the same program that you went through yeah. that you're going through, but like you're going to be applying to scholarships throughout the next five years. So you yeah. have, you have the skill set, you have the essay templates, you have the confidence, the yeah. and you've seen results that you can actually do this for the next five years and put yourself in a position to graduate from your first choice program and graduate debt free because you're gonna, you know, win scholarships to go with it, and you, yeah. can feel, and you can feel confident that you know you don't have to worry about anything else because you actually yeah. have done the work to do that. And so, um, I love what you said about it not even not being that hard for you because you saw it as a five year investment versus yeah. like the the few months that you're in the program because that's the, yeah. like for me that's the biggest thing is like you'll have success this year, but how can you have you know leave with the skill set? that you mm-hmm. do this every single year and have the same type of success. So I think, yeah. that's, I think that's huge. Um, yeah. Okay, I think, that's, I think that's everything. So yeah, just so that everybody knows, like Isha is like, like such a hardworking student. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even explain it. Um, but like, you just had a goal in mind, it's that simple. And like, I think it's so good for students to understand, like that's what it looks like to say, I'm committing to this this year. And like nothing's gonna get in my way. Like this is a result. Literally I want. nothing is getting nothing. in my way. No, nothing. Not even math way. class. Like I would be doing it in. <laughs> and it's and it's like it's kind of contagious because it's like something for from our end. It's like that's her goal. Like I am gonna stand by her. Like I'm gonna go to bat for yeah. her to make that happen. Right? Because I saw like she's that's it. Like if that's the one thing, like this has to happen. And yeah. 
I was like, I'm going to go to bat for her, like whatever it takes. And you yeah. did that. And so like, it's, it's almost contagious because people want yeah. to support somebody that's so passionate or so goal oriented. Um, and yeah. that makes it easier for like everybody else around you. Right. Because they know what you want to do and your goal is clear. So it's like, okay, all we have to do is execute and do it. And you did it. Yeah. Right. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. So I think it's a really good, um, a really good way for students to understand like, what does it actually take? Because you are yeah. the example of it. Um, okay. Well, thank you so much for yeah. sharing with us. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Thank you for your time and um, we'll talk again soon.